let me take the opportunity right now while I have the floor okay. to talk about Disney. Disney put out one of the worst, if not the worst, Star Wars movie ever last year. Okay, I want my fucking money back. Right? They took my fucking money. I paid thirty dollars to go see the Rise of Skywalker. That movie sucked, and I hated it. No, you don't play this damn. Sh- well, I'm talking. Okay. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear that. Okay. Disney trolled you good. Yeah. Look, I want my thirty bucks back. Okay. I'm gonna get my money back. I don't care. Bob Iger got money. I want my money back. Because that was a despicable movie. I hated that shit. Dude, you gotta chill. Somebody actually fucked Palpatine. This episode of Furry Frequencies is brought to you by Federacia Rossia. Posa Lusta, Poder Cite, Nasco Tobrisha, Bernie Sanderson, na Posu Presidente. Robo Bitch. Poca Shalish Beta Isti Nasagodia. Hello and welcome to Furry Frequencies, the soundtrack to your furry life. I am Lifty and joining us on the podcast this evening is Silox. Hey, how's it going? And IBM. Sup? So we've got. A uh, bunch of drama on this episode tonight. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to mention that this is our 49th episode. Yeah, 49 episodes. And uh, Oh, man. We're yeah. about to hit the big 50. Exactly. We're about, 50. To, be, we're 50. about to be a boomer Five. podcast. Oh, camel toe. What? <laughs> okay, so that just went like... So when are we getting canceled? A... <laughs> now, bitch. <laughs> okay. We are officially canceled. Right? Daddy, yes! The <laughs> hell? <laughs> Daddy, yes! So anyway, on this 49th episode, we have a few um, topics to talk about. First of all, Fur Affinity got DDoSed again. We're going to be uh, talking about that because, yeah, they took a long-ass time to uh, fix that. And then um, our favorite music teacher slash pornographer, Stixil, had got himself into some more drama this uh, past week. Yes. So we're going to talk about that. But um, let's talk first about uh, this, uh, this drama that was kicked off on Twitter earlier, where a user by the name of Xavier Fox, he wanted to uh, send some pictures on Twitter about his uh, tank. These nuts. Uh, also congratulations we now have a soundboard we're in the 21st century of podcasting (laughs) so fucking stupid (laughs) every Uh, radio station and every podcast has a soundboard now we do too well yeah it only took us 49 episodes i know right this soundboard has been Featured by by people like you. Oh God! <clears throat> Brought to you by it. people like you. Uh, sure. Little. Anyway, um, miniature people. Yeah, the little people like sidewalks. Excuse <laughs> you, bitch! Oh. You lost your damn mind. <laughs> ben Great. Go. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, back to the Xavier Fox um, issue. So, init- so user by the name of Xavier Fox, um, he owns a tank. And he took some pictures of r- himself rolling around in the tank. And someone, some other furry, some other leftist furry decided he was a little upset that this dude owns a tank as well as a bunch of cars and made a successful life for himself by being a uh, business owner. And he tweeted back by saying, I can't wait for the forced redistribution of wealth. And this set off a firestorm of uh, tweets on both sides. There were some people that actually agreed with the dude, the leftist that tweeted that out. But there are a Mm. bunch of other people that were standing up for Xavier Fox and saying that this was a nuclear hot take. 
So um, IBM, uh, IBM Silox, what are your takes on this? Um, I'm not surprised that you would have people um, go on Twitter and complain like that. Um, to me, there is a talks. segment that too. Um, to me, there is a segment of the uh, furry population on Twitter who really feels the need to impose their beliefs on every single thing. And when it goes against their beliefs, they like to lash out. So here's the thing. This guy has worked hard for his fucking money. He owns his own business. Why the fuck are you going after him? Is it jealousy? Are you that jealous that this guy has more stuff than you do? Yeah, Whoa that's it. up. That dude is jealous that he has a tank and he doesn't. Well, then I get mean... a fucking job and get some money. Like, get your bread right, my nigga. Stop complaining about <laughs> dumb shit like that on Twitter. That's why it's not it's not healthy. It's really dumb. And it's it's fracturing this goddamn community because people want to make everything so fucking political like that. I don't like, think let let the dude live that's and enjoy why his it's life. Important. It's over that's what. That's how long my dick is. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> so, my take on it is quite simple. I mean, the dude flaunts his money, which is fine. He's got every right to do it. But again, I mean, I mean furries are going to flex if they got if they if they got the opportunity to flex. Weird flex, but okay. But okay, he's got a tank. Cool. Let him have a tank. But at the same tote, these dumbasses that feel the need to be triggered also have the right to be triggered and voice that trigger with everyone who will listen. It just shows how fucking stupid everyone is. And I'm all for people's freedom to do what they please, so long as it's not, you know intruding on other people's rights um to say for example if say lifty was one of these libtards that are out here and I, excuse I say, me <laughs> don't use me as an example i'm just saying you know, if you were one of those dudes that's out there like, oh my god, I'm so triggered that you have so much more money than me. I'm going to be upset for life. Let me start tweeting angry things about you. I mean, I'm going to think you're a piece of shit, but you have every right to do with that. Do, you know, do that. That's fine. Now, this guy, uh, Stixel, or, I'm sorry. Xavier yeah, Fox. yeah, we're still talking about Xavier. I'm for sorry, a minute. I, I I was looking at the wrong thing. This guy Xavier Fox, I, to show that he is legitimately uh, concrete about this stuff is that he shouldn't let any of this like stuff bother him. He should just go on with his day, not worry about all these idiots clamoring and you know trying to tarnish his good name and everything like that if he if it if he's truly what's the word i'm going for humble yeah then i i guess what would be best is if he just kind of shows like no um leeway to these idiots i mean if it were me i would just be like all right so they hate me too bad <laughs> i have a tank and you don't Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of see, I don't he didn't really give any um any attention to the dude that was like Mr Mr um Mr Karl Marx over there that was tweeting, I can't wait for the fourth redistribution of wealth. We can jump. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> But no, he wasn't given. He wasn't really given any respect to that, you know, little Karl Marx Jr. over there that was tweeting out, you know, forced redistribution of wealth and all that. And that's a, that, you know, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good way of taking it. Just you know, move on with your day. Just hey, you got a tank, wonderful. And if he doesn't have a tank, yeah. well, boohoo. Yeah, but, I mean, 
You know, people yeah. get so upset when they can't have their own things and they want to take it out on others. And I trying to and here's what I think is happening. Some people are using the guise of their political beliefs to be petty assholes like that. And one, I don't care. One, it's really fucking disingenuous because you're really glossing over the real issues of wealth and equality. All right. If you're just using your beliefs to bitch about the fact that, oh, so and so has a new headphone excuse me, has a new fursuit, or a fucking tank, or, you know, you know, a fucking Supra. Like, dude, what the fuck? That's really disingenuous in doing your movement or what you believe in a disservice. And a lot of furries do this shit. Special and it's book. really starting to piss me off. Fuck you. It's really starting to piss me off. And I fucking hate that shit. All this... your profanity. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a rated R chat. I, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Okay. This soundboard has been the greatest thing. These nuts. <laughs> the Ain't he the nigga been... that ran for president? <laughs> okay, can I just say can I just say something? The fact that this man that these nuts got like 15% like like how much how much votes did he get? He got a lot. He got like a little bit of votes, uh. but the fact that people voted for a guy called these nuts proves my point that this country <laughs> is it. fucked. Okay? And but furries that's are why to blame. it's so important to vote for Sugar Daddy Bernie. Oh, then we sure, I got all one have question tags. What? I'm Bernie Sanders. You're Bernie Sanders. Come to my rally at Furthermore. We're gonna feel oh the burn. Oh no, 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 good lord, no. The last <laughs> thing. No, I want to address that for a minute. The last oh, thing no. any convention needs is a fucking political rally, and to illustrate just how hypocritical the bullshit is about people starting political rallies at at furry conventions okay replace the word bernie with trump and see how much of a good idea that is now you, oh furries will bitch furries yeah will furries bitch. will bitch furries will absolutely bitch and i'm not trying to say i'm not trying to be a pro-trump person here or anything but i'm saying that shut up shut up no, small I'm hand to... fuck off no, I'm trying, to hear, I'm trying to say here that it is hypocritical to be all for a Bernie rally in a furry convention, but you suddenly, you know, suddenly get up in arms if it's a Trump rally at a, at a furry convention. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say on that matter, because fuck that shit. Wow. F fuck Trump, fuck Bernie, fuck everybody that's running for for, for fucking president. Ooh. You 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 want to know the best? You want to know the best candidate that you need to that you need to fucking vote for this year? Motherfucking Jesse motherfucking Ventura, the greatest motherfucking governor that Minnesota has ever had. The best person to run, the most qualified person to run for president. And of course he's not running, so you better write his ass in. Wow. Um we don't actually endorse people, so, um, yeah, this is problematic. Bitch, shut the fuck up! Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Either either we're <laughs> either we're endorsing <laughs> Jesse Ventura or D's Nuts. Pick one. Or Giant Meteor. I don't care. I mean, the Meteor is probably going to hit us in, like, November, so... Thank fucking God. That would be fun. I'd be okay with this. You know who my vote's in for? What? The boot dude. Mega faggot! <laughs> <laughs> we should make that a ballot. Oh, yeah. Be my guest and take pictures. We should yeah. all we should all write Psylocke's name in, and then when they have to certify the election, they'll be like, "Oh, well, you know, Silox can't be president. He's not thirty-five, but people will all vote for me anyway. And if they don't accept me, there'll be a fucking riot, and I'll be president regardless because America will want me, and that's how I'll rule the world one day." Oh. I'm pretty sure the office of the president has a height requirement that you do not meet. You know what? If you don't shut your shaman in that's broke looking ass up, I'm going to come through this goddamn microphone and snap the fuck out you. You keep it up. There you go. <laughs> no, he ain't met the right one yet. He ain't met the right motherfucker yet. He going to learn. Best watch your tone. I probably do. Excuse it, me? But...
Just they, check yourself. Before you, be, you, wreck yourself. you know what? You better get him IBM because he 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 writing checks that he can't cash. And do you what? better get him. And do what? You better get him. Hey, hold do on. Do what? Yeah, do what? <laughs> you broke ass bitch. Go shop at Aldi or whatever the fuck you shop at. Lidl. Whatever. Go shop at your German grocery store. Lidl. I want to shop at Lidl, but Lidl isn't open yet. Good. I hope it closes down. No. They're good. And I hope you have to take your broke ass to fucking Whole Foods and shop there with all the other rich Whole white Foods. liberals. No, no. <laughs> Whole Foods is overpriced as fuck, man. No shit. And, I don't and wanna, they wine and tastes I, like shit. And I don't want to go over to Whole Foods and pay $8 for a bag of frozen raspberries that has bugs and, and dirt you just and say? leaves in there. Pay eight dollars for a bag of frozen raspberries because they're organic. That they got the bugs and the leaves and the dirt and all the kinds of poops in there. Fuck you got that. the bugs and the leaves and the dirt and the stuff that I use to drug the ladies and rape them. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, That's my Bill Cosby impression. See, I can make that impression. You guys can't. Still be considered racist. Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> I love this soundboard. <laughs> oh. I, it's got so many racist freaking terms on here. I'm like I'm afraid to touch some of them cuz like it would probably spurt out more n words than you have already Silox. Oh my god. I've only said two so it's okay. I've exceeded my quota for the month actually. Oh man. I counted 5, but anyway. Uh, moving on to Ur Affinity because they got DDoSed again. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, did anybody keep count of how many days they were down? They were down for, I think, four. two days? I think it was four. Shit, that I, was I lost really count. four? Holy shit. Hey, so. you know what? With Fur Affinity, I could believe two or four. I can even believe longer than four. Because last year, they were down for, like, over a week, and it was so weird. Yeah, like, a we, lot of furries were, like, didn't know how to function without their daily dose of porn. <laughs> no, 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 no. You want to see furries being unable to function? Just have <laughs> Telegram go down for a minute. Oh, yeah, oh, that would God, be bad. Yeah. Just for a minute. Just watch. I was in the middle of my IRP. What am I going to do now? Ew. Oh, my God, yes. Remember when Twitter, uh, when, when Telegram actually went down and people were actually tweeting at Telegram? It's like, I was in the middle of an RP. Like, take your broke ass outside and get some exercise. <laughs> you probably fat as shit anyway. <laughs> Damn. I don't care. It's the truth. Uh, you feisty today. Yeah, because you called me a faggot earlier. That's why. I did not. <laughs> you better get him. Oh, you wow. better get him, I swear. <laughs> okay, so further developments on the uh, Fur Affinity DDoS. So according to Dragoneer... <laughs> I can't get mad at the soundboard. <laughs> so anyway, according to Dragoneer, he found out that um or he suspects that the person behind the ddos attack is somebody in uh fur affinity status channel and uh because he says that as soon as he announced a ddos he was getting ddosed what huh that yeah. doesn't make any sense no it doesn't but according to him too guilty as shit According to him, him, yeah, according to him, he got, his site got DDoSed, like, within minutes of the announcement of the DDoS in his status channel. <laughs> and not only that, <laughs> apparently he's, he's gotten the FBI involved in, uh, in investigating who is behind the DDoS. So, um, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be good. Yeah, wait, uh, whatever you know, they uncover. Yeah, fuck trying to solve domestic terrorism wait, and hate wait, wait, crimes. Wait, Let's Who? focus on, on they, furry trash. They actually got the FBI involved. Yes. Yes. yes FBI, open up. That's <laughs> crazy. How did? <laughs> I don't did they know. Even... I don't know. 
Oh man. Not only that's, since you know, I I it, it, I don't, I, I don't, don't even know if see... that's true. I no. can't see it. No, there's no way, honestly. The FBI wouldn't sit there and fucking waste their time with furry shit. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> They're not exactly doing anything at the moment, so. I don't know about all that. I, I really don't know. Well, actually, correction. It's been reported to the FBI, not that the FBI is actually investigated, but it has been reported with, quote unquote, all of the evidence. And Whatever you know exactly that is, what's gonna happen? They're just gonna throw it all out and be like, oh, "Fuck it." Yeah, because it's yeah, because it's the FBI, and it's like, Furries. "Oh, this is furry trash." There's a there was a popular theory going around that um, it was Dragonair. Yeah, it was an inside job, a false flag operation on his part. Well, that's why he was saying that he suspects that somebody in his status channel, where he announced the DDoS was behind the attack, which makes no sense whatsoever. But this is uh, Dragonair we're talking about here, so who knows what what he means. Bruh. Yeah, this is a big bra moment, if anything. It is. So fucking stupid. Oh yeah, absolutely. But this is this is for Affinity. And a bunch of people on Twitter were kind of bitching about, you know, why isn't this happening to Ink Bunny or blah, blah, blah. Because... Ink Bunny deserves it. And it's like, bitch, Fur Affinity has been how... Because you know exactly what's going to happen. Dragonair's going to be like, oh my god, we're being DDoSed. Everybody, donate. In the criminal justice system. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what's going to happen. Is... This podcast is like ten thousand times better now. <laughs> I mean, All it's we literally a soundboard, <laughs> but it's literally that. It's being Dean Austin. He's gonna be like, "Oh my god, this is a perfect opportunity for me to like start a fundraiser." Everybody, oh my god, for new servers me. that will pay for my vacation. Stupid. It's to Hawaii. He does this shit. Like yeah, he does actually. twice a year. I think he does. I, he's doing this shit. On well, purpose. like I said. Last year, Fur Affinity got hit with a long ass outage, and of course, this year's same thing. So, I mean, what's the deal, Dragonair? You can't run your own fucking website that's two years or like twenty years behind from everybody else's. <laughs> yeah, it's lucky that he's still getting five hundred people going to FAU. Doesn't he? Uh, still run the same server equipment from like the beginning. Yes. Yeah. They have yeah. not changed their servers from the beginning. Fucking Instead, horrible. they changed the uh, interface, and everybody's complaining about that too because it's not intuitive compared to <laughs> the old interface. <laughs> well, what I, I, from what I've been told, is that the reason that they can't upgrade servers is because the code is so fragile that even if they tried to touch it, the damn thing would break. Which I don't believe, actually. I think that's a little bullshit. But see, that's what happens when you get lazy with your coding and you don't update it over time. You're supposed to update it so that things like that don't happen. Hmm. You're supposed to update it so that vulnerabilities are fixed. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not someone with a CS degree. So don't jump on my dick about, you know, what Nobody would coding... want to do that anyway. Speak for yourself. Uh, mm. Anyway, but so 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 don't so don't play me. Morty. Boom! Big reveal. I'm a pickle. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, don't don't flame me right now, but that's kind of part of the job of being a programmer is that you go through code to find Big vulnerabilities, I I'm losing, I'm losing my concentration here. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you're supposed to find vulnerabilities and you're supposed to patch them. Uh, apparently, Dragoneers has kind of been overdue on that for several years, he and sucks. now it's like this. Idiot. Because uh, he he has okay. He had a great vision to be, 
you know, to bring this type of thing to the furry fandom. It was nice that he did it. And he received a lot of praise, a lot of support. All these wonderful things were given to him in support of the website. And then he let the funding get the better of itself. He felt like this was his opportunity to make a profit rather than provide a service to his community. And it's it's pretty fucking evident that this guy is in it all for profit and doesn't give a doesn't give a rat's ass about how the website performs or the reliability or the users of it because he doesn't listen. He doesn't listen to any of the fucking users. We well, you do him. also realize that FAU is a for-profit convention. Yes. Yeah. I'm, Which, I'm very well aware of it. Well, to be fair, I'm it, to me it's not really a bad thing to be a for-profit convention. I mean, smaller conventions you know pretty much either either have to be for profit or they're they're going to just kind of like drain your bank account every year Jay, uh, he's an idiot I, I just i can't get over it you know i i have a fur affinity i do i use it not really it's there but i really don't care i mean if they were to delete it i'd be a little pissed cuz i got some content on there that I haven't backed up. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that today. Because if they listen to this podcast, they'll probably... Fuck IBM. He's an asshole. That's the him. point. That's why his name is at Jackass. Or at Jackass Jackal. I don't know. What's your yeah. what's your Twitter handle anymore? At Jackass Jackal. Okay, well, cool. it's at Jackass underscore Jackal. Because my original one got banned. Ah! Stop! I'm gonna drop my croissant. <laughs> that was for Silox. Uh, so yeah, so this is actual message from Dragoneer. He said that I suspect, and this is you know straight from him. I suspect that the DDoSer is actually lurking in this very channel. The DDoS started the moment I announced it in here. And again, this is like a circular message. It's like, how, you know, how do you announce something that's happening that or <clears throat> this is this is really like twisting my brain in a knot. What brain? Hey, shut up. I'm just, I'm trying to, you know, you're saying that you have a brain. I've never seen it. Just, I've know. never seen yours either, bitch. Know, That's because it's so in your head. You're living in it. You know what I mean? This is my world. You're just living in it. Never heard of that? No, this isn't the Truman Show, so stop it. Are you Are you sure? Yes. Oh, Where okay. is Silox? He's been quiet. He said he was sending an email. Oddly quiet. Sending an email. People yeah, do that? Because people still do that. Okay, I guess. Especially him. Because he's old and fucking gay. Fucking boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I said, I can hear you all. Are you going to ML? He's a fuck off. <laughs> Well, <laughs> asshole, we'll get back in the damn podcast. We're gonna sit here and wait for you, fucking cancer. Bitch, I will. I'm sending a fucking email. I know you saw what that fucking posted. I saw that, but can you do it on your own time? This is for work. I can't. Actually, I'm finished my email, so yes, we can continue. Jesus. Take the fucking wheel. If Jesus took the wheel, he'd kill us all. I'm the Glob Glow Gab -gala. You have any Rick and Morty? Um, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> stuff? Yes, did you not hear the Pickle Rick bit? I want more, though, besides. I'm Pickle Rick! I don't see any. Hold on. <clears throat> That's fair. But continue. Alright, so the next thing on the itinerary. Furthermore. No, 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 no. Not to no. that one? No, 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 no. We'll skip yeah, that. Like, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go, Stixel. Hi, Stixel. You suck. 
So last Just week kidding. we were talking about Stixel uh, because he was. Lifty, you have shut to turn your that off. damn phone off before I come over there and break the damn thing. Lifty, what kind of phone do you have? I have a it's Motorola old... Razor. No, it's what a the Nokia. fuck? From 1999. Why is your ringtone <laughs> that fucks, dude? Because <laughs> it's aesthetic. Shut do up. Pe- hold up. Do people even use ringtones anymore? Yes. I just I keep just... my phone mine... on vibrate. <laughs> no, mine, yeah, mine you is keep the yours T-Mobile on sound. And it's in your back pocket. Ding-ding-ding-ding. Yes. So I can feel it. Uh-huh. Like I wish a dick would be in my ass. But no, I get what you're saying. So hey, does, lifting. does that mean if if I can slide it, I could slide Lifty. your phone up your ass Lifty. and then call it and then Lifty. you feel it. Lifty. What? What? Hi. Hi. Um, so yeah, last week uh, we were talking <laughs> about Stixel. Uh, he's a very prominent YouTube or excuse me, no, he's not a YouTuber. He's a very prominent furry on Twitter. He's got eighteen thousand followers on Twitter. So he um, kind of fits the definition in any way you want to slice it of uh, popular. And so um, last week we mentioned that Stixel was caught loving. What the fuck? Nah, nah, okay, nah, no, 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 up, no, up, no, turn this up. communist propaganda <laughs> bullshit off. We is not doing that. No. <laughs> Bitch, this ain't Cuba. This ain't I don't no want to hear no Castro Soviet Union anthem. program that Bernie Sanders loves. <laughs> anyway. Castro had many good policies. Yeah, he did. Not going to lie. Anyway, wow. so, um, so Stixel last week we talked about uh, you know, how he made a post about how he loves Lollicon, and then he got caught with that post, and then he lost his job as a music teacher. He didn't just, like, say, oh, I don't want to do that anymore. No, he fucking got fired. Oh, wait, so now I have the he's... perfect one for this. Uh-oh, retard alert! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it fucking matches the situation. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so now he says that he's in a tough spot and he had to um actually make money off his OnlyFans account to get by and of course his OnlyFans account is posting pictures of uh his ass. Uh I don't know what else he posts. You know, maybe he posts his dick, I don't know. But he yeah, he's got a big following, a lot of miners that follow him on Twitter. And so it's funny that we're talking about Stixel this week because you'd think after last week he'd kind of like lay low for a little while and not take off some hot takes on Twitter. No, no, this is Stixel we're talking about here. He's gone off with some more hot takes to uh, enlighten us with. Yes, um, the first two... So I'll give him this. The first two tweets about how... Um, the fandom shouldn't artificially create hierarchies is, that's okay. I can agree with that. However, it seems very ironic coming from a guy with 18,000 followers. Smacking the as if you don't understand or even realize that you are also talking about yourself. Um, Mr. Poppy Fur who was ragging on Poppy first. So it's kind of hypocritical and also pretty stupid. Um, what he needs to do is seriously get off Twitter or take a break or do whatever because this is... It, it's dumb, man. I'm tired of hearing about you. I'm, I'm tired of hearing your stupid hot takes. Oh, I'm going to say something that everybody agrees with and get so many likes. This is what it is. That's exactly what it is. Yep. And, you know, going back on, you know, you think after he lost his job because he mentioned his love for Lollicon, which is pretty gross, um, and he lost his job over that, you think he would stop and shut up for a minute and just, like, go low for a week and not say stuff on Twitter? No, no, he's gone off the deep end now. Uh, So, yeah. Hot take, but the furry fandom needs to stop idolizing people. Okay, let's start by stop idolizing you because 
yeah, you've kind of shown yourself to be, you know, you've shown yourself to put your foot where your mouth is uh, really hard with the whole Lolicon thing. And um, considering that there's a lot of miners that follow you, especially in your Discord chat, that could be a very, very bad look for you. And then he goes off, furry socialism time. Oh, God. Yeah, Don't get me started on furry so socialism. Dumb. Yeah, this that's... dude. Mm-hmm. This dude just needs to shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> he really, really does. <laughs> like really, you, I, does the soundboard has anything from King of the Hill? Because I really wish I, I, I wish I really wish I could have a bit of Hank Hill saying, "Just when I think you said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking." Because this is exactly what he needs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Look. Uh, that's exactly what Sixel needs right now. He needs this. He, just when we thought he said the stupidest thing ever with the whole Lolicon thing, he keeps talking. <laughs> now he's thinking, just when oh, I yeah. think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yes, furry socialism time. Just when you think, just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. Ow! <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's Silox's mating call. But how? How, first of all, <laughs> how the fuck would furry socialism even work? Are, are we serious, guys? Like, come on with this. Everybody shit. has a tank. Yo, get off Discord. But it, this is so. D- <laughs> Dude, get off Discord. I can hear your shit pinging. That's. No, that's. <laughs> no. No. That's... One of you is literally on Discord. No, Get that's off the of soundboard. It. That's the what? soundboard. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. notice it now? <laughs> <sighs> but no. How? Don't stop. Don't don't whisper to me. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I will poke you. Okay. Ooh. Psst. Psst. You gonna Psst. poke me? Psst. Hey, wake up. Hey, you wake up. Me? Hey, we go. Daddy. That's gay. Daddy. But, but no. Yeah, Daddy, this sticks yes! Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this sticks so dude, he is, he is like, he doesn't know when to shut up and he has no, and he has no self-awareness. Like, yeah, yeah, you think, you know, you, you, you're preaching to the choir here when you're talking about yourself. Yeah, wonderful. You're uh, ragging against yourself. Beautiful. Welcome to 2020, well, when everybody rags on themselves for bullshit. Yeah, well, I guess he learned one valuable lesson. He didn't learn a thing. Don't you come sure? at me as like, he, he, oh, he learned his lesson. No, he didn't learn anything. Otherwise, he would have gotten off Twitter. Instead, he's saying this bullshit, furry socialism bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> I just want to know what furry socialism even looks like. <laughs> it's like, like luxury gay space communism, only with more fur. I oh. don't know what luxury automated gay space communism even looks like either. Is it the Star Trek kind of gay space communism? Because that actually worked. I don't know. Like, I don't even know what luxury gay communism is. Like, you think luxury and communism would cancel each other well, out? Considering you're a communist, I'd expect you to understand how communism I'm not works. a fucking communist, you bitch. Could have fooled me. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> Why you always lying? <laughs> oh my god. Stop fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> you are a communist. I am not a fucking communist. Yes, hey. you are. No. Hey stop. man, I find Karl Marx to be incredibly attractive. I want to stroke you do? his beard. Really? Yes. I'm joking. Are you serious? No. Well, you are the height of a Loompa Loompa, so... Oh, oh. <clears throat> wow. <sighs> God dang. I felt that one over here. Uh. At least I don't have a bitch boy haircut. <laughs> hey! <laughs> the <Man> gap. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> I'm going to come up there and shove that soundboard figure up your ass. Uh, How are you going to come up to Richmond if, if Richmond's in the south? Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> Try me, bitch. 
Oh boy. <laughs> you can't even drive that fucking piece of shit hamster car far oh, enough without god. someone fucking like Oh my god, do you need you <laughs> do you need your hamster wheel? <laughs> to recharge the fucking battery. Shut up. <laughs> not a that car is kinda gay. Really cool. I, I I drove his car last year and I hated driving it. I wanted to kill myself. It's you're a bad gay. car. You're gay. We, sweetie, we know. You're preaching to the choir here. But no, this I'm car gay sucks. Too. Your car sucks too. You're gay, but you want to fuck old ladies. Okay. <laughs> Sir, hey, we'll go no, with no, that. No, no. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you fucking rag on Rose, okay? You know Rose? Who the she fuck is, is Rose? You never watch the Golden Girls? It's time to stop! Thank you, Fly Frank. Stop, okay? <laughs> I don't stick my dick in old women, alright? Because they got enough mental issues going on as it is. Yeah. Kind of. I don't want no damn kids. Shit. I'm just saying, Betty White is still hot as fuck. Well, wait. Can old, we can old people get pregnant? Uh, no! Well, they I can't? Mean, no! I, I wouldn't know. Uh, maybe? All right, I'm gonna go ask. Well, yeah, I mean, this. I mean, if if like, you know, it's artis art, uh, artificial insemination, I guess, but what? or or in vitro, in vitro fertilization might work. But well, look, if an 80 year old can get pregnant, I will be ecstatic about that. The miracle of childbirth should not be denied for someone over the age of 50. What? Exactly. Ugh. By the way, um, you ever heard, you guys heard of this, um, of uh, Nordic FuzzCon? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so Nordic FuzzCon, that's a convention in Sweden that happened recently, and they have an actual rule about oodling, and also about taking your fursuit head in, off in public. And um, yeah, not many furries were very happy that they had these rules in place. In fact, one popular fursuiter uh, by the name of Moth actually got kicked out of Nordic FuzzCon for uh, revealing too much skin, apparently. And of course, she told her story on Twitter and uh, had a bunch of furries... Uh, uh, you know, talking about uh, the rules and and what what constitutes spilling and whatnot, and it it, it started an entire uh, a new and uh, a new debate on poodling. But first and foremost, bitch, if I want to take off my head just so I don't overheat in that goddamn fur suit, I will do it wherever the fuck I want. All right, I don't fucking give a shit about your fucking. Why does there have fuck to be a debate magic. about everything though? I just because people are dumb and they make stupid shit up like this, where they make up stupid rules about oh no, don't break the magic, do it in the headless I'm land. Once again, asking for your financial support. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh god! Is there any way? And this might be asking a bit, a way too much, but is there any way we could possibly get Bernie Sanders on this podcast? No. Uh, we have. We I'm have gonna to, see. No, no, no. You know what would happen? We would what? email him, and then he would say, "I am asking you for your financial support for me to be on your podcast." I think it would be great to have him Bitch, on the podcast. No. Just because you're a hater and a racist doesn't mean we can't have him I'm on the podcast. I'm not a racist. You you're don't like him because he's white. How am I a racist? Are you serious? <laughs> I have I'm never I, said I'm anything remotely racist. You keep saying I the just... N-word at me. You keep calling me the N-word. What? Yes. Because you act ignorant. Yes. <laughs> you're ignorant. Excuse me? Best watch your you better tongue. watch what you say on this podcast unless you want to be canceled. You should call the black man ignorant. You Shit. You must not know what year it is. <laughs> oh wow! It's the I, current year. Yes, it's 2020, everybody. Jeez. But bad. um, but yeah, we Nordic FuzzCon. I, I first of all, 
of course, I'm never going to be able to attend Nordic FuzzCon. So this is kind of a moot point. But I'm afraid that other conventions might take note and actually apply these rules to their own convention because they want to quote unquote preserve the magic for all the normal people that actually come by that aren't furries that want to come to a convention to see what all the furry fandom is about and whatnot and play with all the furries and such and then you got bullshit rules like this just when i think you've said the stupidest thing ever you keep talking (laughs) that one's for you lifty excuse me what that one was for you bitch bitch because you're just annoying you are too (laughs) <laughs> I love how he said it. You are too. Hey, I'm getting him mail. <laughs> nah, but you stupid. No, nah, not. Nah. What's nine plus ten? Twenty-one. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, that's how not... when he was twelve. <laughs> well. He did say he has trouble with math. Uh. Where is Psylocke? I, I haven't heard him. I haven't heard him in a minute. I ha- for some reason my shit just like muted me again. But no, you're not wrong. Um. Uh. Yeah. No, that was me. <laughs> it was no, pretty I'm, dumb I'm at seeing, math. I'm seeing it right now. Nordic FuzzCon is going to drop in attendance next year because people aren't going to people are going to remember this bullshit with the whole poodling and you know breaking the magic and all that. Because they do have, you know, rules against all that. And people are like, bitch, what the hell? That's fucking stupid. Of course it is. Magic. That's my whole point. That's why I think they're going to drop an attendance next year. Because they're, you know, (laughs) play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I reckon. That's whatever. I'm taking my damn fursuit head off if I need to. Yeah, I'm going to take it off wherever I damn well please. If it, people fucking freak out about it, you know, you know, go over there and just fucking beat yourself off or whatever. I don't care. Uh, I'm dying over here. It's hot. Beat me off? Maybe. Please? Uh, you have a very hard bargain. Just, just do it for me. Uh, I'll just beat myself oh. off for a minute. Oh. Please do it for Can me. Can I help? Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. We've got Psylocke in the room. Yeah. Suddenly people are offering to uh, beat each other off, and, oh, and Psylocke is like, oh! <laughs> oh. I, wow. I, well, I am thirsty. You know that. Yes, you are. I'll do it to anybody at, at Furthermore. Well, no, not anybody, but certain people. They know who they are. You don't know the way. Do you know the way? I know the okay. way. Okay. Yeah, you're not doing that. Know the way. I hope. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can edit that out. We but are anyway, not we... posting that. What? <laughs> That's fine. We'll edit it out in in post production. It's just okay. You don't know the way. <laughs> We're gonna get canceled over that. <laughs> <laughs> you Ugandans don't even have internet. And they, the funny thing is, it wasn't even them who were complaining. They found it hilarious. Guess who was complaining? The people that don't look like them. Yes, and they don't look, and they ain't black. So, yes, that's who was complaining. Do you find it offensive? Offensive? Oh, no, I find it fucking hilarious, actually. (laughs) I mean, it's fucking stupid. Hey, so I think it's one of the, I think it's one of the funniest memes out there, believe it or not. Hey, um, it's Psylocke. legendary. What's up? So you're part of a union, right? In in the professional world. Yes. So tell me this: Do you believe that the uh, furry fandom needs to unionize? No, that is the stupidest thing ever. A unionized <laughs> furry fandom. Okay, artists unionizing first of all is dumb because that would mean that we would have to somehow they would have to somehow bargain with huh they would have to bargain for certain rights sorry i forgot i was on push to talk so first of all 
who is doing the unionizing? Is it just artists, or is it just, or is it the DJs, or is it the musicians, like, or the writers? Who are you? Who is unionizing? You have to answer that question. Next, uh... you have to answer. Exactly right. Next, you have to answer. Well, what are they going to unionize for? Is it for a living wage? Is it for health care? Um, is it for I don't know basic human decency? Like what? What are they trying to get out of this? Um, the fandom should not unionize because there is no benefits for unionization. There aren't any. It's dumb. Stop. Well, um, reading reading this Flavor article that was released earlier, I I you know I totally agree with what you're saying. I mean, I was reading about it and I was thinking that you know protection for creative people within the furry community wouldn't that be more of like beneficial to just form a guild than a union for the creative for the creative types within the fur community yes it would be more beneficial for them to form their own guild um than it would be to form a union and if the idea is simply well we want you know a living wage then i think artists in that case should raise their prices to better reflect minimum wage um the problem is though a lot of artists have convince themselves that it's better to keep your prices low and because it will attract buyers um and this, of course this is strictly artists artists i'm not talking about musicians and all that that's a whole separate can of worms but with artists they want to keep their prices low i'm guessing in the furry fandom say for um miles df who actually charges what art actually costs irl um if artists charge themselves a living wage for art i think um that would be better for them than what they're trying to go with now in charging themselves god i don't know fifty dollars for a fucking shaded piece which is dumb um it's not beneficial for them and i think a guild is a much better way for them to come together, pool resources, and achieve their goals. Unionization is a whole set of worms that I can tell you 99.9% .9 of the people in there wouldn't know what the fuck to do. Because it's not as simple as just saying, hey, let's all unionize. Not that simple. Yeah, and that's where, I, I mean, I hear that term, you know, that we need to well you just saw Stixel saying you know we need to form furry socialism and we you know and i hear that furries need to unionize and you know. so we had Stixel talking about disorganizing earlier and and stop propping up pop you furs and now we're having another topic about furries need to unionize but here's the thing a lot of those in the creative circle within the furry community are more or less self-proprietors. They 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 do their own work for themselves. So what would unionization do? I would agree with the guild thing, though. Ha! Gay! <laughs> no, a guild a guild will get them to where they need to be. But again, unionization would require membership dues. You're gonna have to figure out what you are fighting for. Again, if it's simply just a living wage, then you need artists need to realize they need to raise their prices to better reflect a living wage. Um, again, charging 150 for a fucking shaded piece with bells and whistles is not going to cut it. You should honestly charge 300 for that, at minimum, if you want a living wage. Um, but they're not going to do that. There's, there's no incentive to do that. At least, in a vacuum, it seems that way. Um, so, a guild will do them wonders. Unionization is not the way. To me, that seems like a buzzword. Um, that's being incorrectly tossed around. And don't get it twisted. I am 100% in favor of unions. I think unions are the best thing since sliced bread when it comes to the professional world. And that more sectors like our retailers no, be should, be, uh, <laughs> should have unions. But furries, they don't need unions. 
That's oh, no, a I, agree. I totally agree. But you're going to see the term furry and union being coupled together more and more often, especially in this day and age when you know, furry socialism seems to be the hip new thing that everybody wants uh, the uh, furry community to embrace. And like I, like you said, when when you've got most of the creative furries just you know pretty much doing work for themselves what good would it do to be in a union rather than to be in a collective guild that would actually benefit you know the artists especially when it comes to like artist beware that's a pretty good that's a pretty good way of of you know pretty much getting the word out to other artists that hey don't accept money from this dude because he's not going to pay and in a guild, that would be more effective because it's a lot of artists getting the word out from, you know, from one or, or two of other guild members about certain people in the furry community that they need to stay away from. And of course, it's a way to also help each other out in a way of, you know, maybe there's, there they may be able to like buy in a group buy materials a lot cheaper and and such and then just distribute it so forth but in a way i don't see that you know unions actually fulfill that role as well as a guild does but nobody's talking about furry guilds (laughs) ibm what is going on here bunch of furry (laughs) socialism no, it's back- Luxury gay space furry <laughs> communism. That's what it is. No, it's a bunch of stupidity. Fucking idiots. <laughs> it is. Left and right. Like, can't you just fucking be part of the furry fandom and just enjoy being a furry? Why Why do you have to make it political? Fuck. That, well, that's a good question. A lot of people, a lot of people want to inject their own politics into the furry community just because they How want... About- you just they want get in the furry insulate. fandom. Hold on, no, no, they no, no, want no. To insulate It's my the turn, God damn it. Okay, Shut go up. ahead. Motherfuck. So, you get into the furry fandom because you enjoy the aspects of being a furry. You have an interest into a anthropomorphic character or a, you know, an animal of some sort, whatever, if that's your thing. Um, you've got all of these interests that have nothing to do with politics and uh, okay that's interesting um you have all these <laughs> my fucking radio is just randomly going off i lost my train of thought uh, so yeah you have all these interests that have nothing to do with politics because you like furry porn the you know the other things regarding the free fandom. Me, I'm just mm-hmm. in it for the porn because it's hot. But, um, whatever. Point is, why are you going to try to bring the thing that you're, that you want to escape from into the thing that you proc- uh, proclaimed as your escape? You know what I'm saying? Do you, you feel where I'm trying to come from? Yeah, no, I get what of, you're trying yeah. to say. Okay, so like, people come to the furry fandom so that way they can get away from the, the bullshit that happens in real life. So it's it's kind of their escape. But then you yourself are guilty of tainting your, uh, your paradise. Stop being stupid. Why? why yeah, is it so that's, hard? Yeah. I mean, that's... it just makes me want to, like, freaking that okay r2d2 <laughs> so that soundboard has been the greatest thing that's ever come to this podcast <laughs> yes it has but well so. ibm is like a close second Ooh. Ooh. you know that gives me a little bit of diabetes <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know i i just think it's, it's really stupid that people are really just taking things to the next level too far and there's nothing i can do about it i know it oh yeah but 
And you do make a, a good point where you're saying that, you know, you yourself are tainting your own fantasy when you your bring own paradise. or your paradise. Yeah, you're tainting your own paradise when you bring elements of the real world that, you know, practically make the real world suck into your paradise. Make that suck, too. So essentially, you know, your your real life is reflective of your or your paradise is reflective of your reality. And when reality sucks, of course, paradise sucks. So you're going to be in this right. constant negative circle of suckiness. And and again, that's that's my whole thing is that people are literally bitching about the real world in something that's fantasy. The community that we are in, involved in, is fantasy. Why do we have to bring the real world into our fantasy land? Fucking leave it alone. You want to be happy? Forget about it. You can't find happiness here. Because you have fucktards. Like, you know who you are, if you're listening. If you constantly do this shit, and you try to ruin it for everybody else because you're an unhappy fuck... Why don't you just go fuck off and go fall in a box, disappear. Let this world be happier for us. I'm not saying, you know, kill yourself, but just go away. Now, there are a lot of unhappy people that are like perpetually unhappy in the furry community, and they make themselves heard all the time on Twitter. And, you know, what I have to say, of course, is we we don't need to inject these elements of the of the reality that you know makes people mad and and upset into the furry world we can certainly leave that behind in reality while we prance around like a dog or a cat or whatever all day at furry cons did you just beep at me it's my damn radio oh but um what i'm also seeing is that there's definitely a People are trying to homogenize the furry community so that everybody's thinking the same way, acting the same way, likes the same things, blah, blah, blah. If it's you, just dumb. Yeah. I if definitely... you if you turn the community into a homogenized society, you strip away what makes each individual unique. So, you know, what do you want? You want a community of unique views and, and people and aspects, or do you want everybody to be cookie cutter? You know, it, I think people want to be more cookie cutter than they actually realize when they when I hear tweets like this, you know, about furry socialism and blah, blah, blah. Stupid. Oh, it really is. If I could That's take an saying. M2 flamethrower to every idiot that exists in this fandom, I probably would. That's why I think Snixel needs to just like lay low and stop tweeting for a little while. I just. But he won't. Of course he won't. He's got 18,000 followers and they're all itching to see what he will tweet next. Exactly. It feeds his ego. Exactly. You got to feed that ego. You got to feed those followers. You got to give them because content. I, because outside the furry fandom, nobody cares about him. He's a, he's a fucking nobody. And he knows that. And that's why he does what he does. He wants to feel better about himself. Well, you know, to get his 15 minutes of fame, usually it's the easiest way to do it is to make people hate you. Yep. Because you don't have to do anything extravagant these days to really make people hate you. Mm -hmm. But, just, you know. Hi, kitty. Watch Guff. Watch Guff. Anyway. Diabetes. <laughs> so we've been so we've been talking for a good long minute about um furry socialism and 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 unions and stuff but let's talk about a, let's uh, switch topics for a minute and let's talk about episode 50 which is just the around the corner <laughs> Got he. episode 50 live at furthermore 2020 in oh, yeah, Arlington. So a big announcement for episode 50 it's our last episode. Bitch! 
Shut no, stop. No, it's stop not. The stop the music. In the eyes <laughs> of an angel. Shut up. No, stop the music. No, this that's fake news. That's not going to be our last episode. You are we fake news. Have... Fake news. You are fake news. Okay, Trump. Shut fake up. News. No, I'm not Trump. Anyway, no. <laughs> Could have fooled our me. 50th, our 50th, <laughs> oh so our 50th episode is right around the corner, and it's going to be live at Furthermore. From Arlington this year in beautiful Crystal oh, City, God. and uh, we do have there a special guest lined up that Arlington. we will not release until the episode of. So it could be anybody. It could be somebody you don't know from the furry community that's local and it is very interesting, and we want you to know about them. Or it could be somebody that you do know from the furry community, like Jib Cody or Sonic Fox, or. Bro. Or, Stop playing. You or, managed to get them? Or it could be 90s contemporary adult singer and songwriter Natalie Merchant. Who knows who it can be? You have to tune in to our furthermore live episode on March the, uh, on what, March the 7th? Sure. <laughs> you don't even fucking know what day it is? Of course Dumbass. Doesn't. What's he today? Is. Today's yes, Saturday 5th. Yes, it's, it's the Saturday, day that March you get a 7th. fucking calendar. Shut up, you <laughs> he fucking can't. scrub. He's too poor. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm not poor! Hey, You're you know poor. what? Uh, fuck you. Oh, yeah, I'm poor because I'm black. Fucking racist. Fuck you. <laughs> I make $2,000 more than you per year. You know what? You can go fuck off, Lifty. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> JG fucking Wentworth is gonna sue us and get us canceled. I don't care. <laughs> I want my structured settlement and I want it right now. Fuck right. Get oh, yeah, but you get know down. what? You know it's who? It's my money and I want it now. Speaking of special Damn. guests, you know who we should have on for Damn Africon? boy. And this Damn is... boy, he's thick. Boy, he just that's popped. a thick ass boy. Damn. And he just popped into my head. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Hi everyone, my name's Majira. <laughs> we should have Majira on. Okay. Um, uh, no, he's gonna hate us so much. Yeah, he's gonna hate us. And, um, <laughs> I mean, kind of. These are the people are. in the furry fandom I don't like. Number one, IBM. the people from Furry Frequencies for making fun of me. Number I'm two, sure. Little Pump, because he shoved a brick onto a television screen that showed my beautiful face. Good lord. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, if you're listening to this, Majira, you should come on the episode one time. We would be glad to have you. <clears throat> Just don't sure. call him the N-word, please. I, you sure? He's not even black. I know, that's why I don't call him the N-word. You call I, me the N-word. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, well, you're fucking Hispanic, so I can call you that. It's okay. <laughs> Bitch! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? You know what? Fuck this. I'm going to go watch Star Wars, okay? And actually, you know what? No. Let me take the opportunity right now while I have the floor. Okay. So to talk about Disney... Disney put out one of the worst, if not the worst, Star Wars movie ever last year. Okay? I want my fucking money back. Alright? They took my fucking money. I paid $30 to go see The Rise of Skywalker. That movie sucked. And I hated it. No, you don't play this damn shit while I'm talking. Okay? I don't want to hear... I don't want to hear that, okay? Disney trolled you good. Yeah, look, I want my 30 bucks back, okay? You I'm going to get my money back. back. I don't care. Bob Iger got money. I want my money back. Because that Bob's was a despicable no. movie. I hated that shit. Dude, you got to chill. Please. Somebody actually fucked Palpatine, okay? No, no, no. See... The reason why you're so triggered by that movie is because you think it's canon. You just don't want It is canon. You don't want to accept that it's a fan fiction. It's not a fucking fan fiction. It is a fan fiction. It's the, all not fan fiction. As soon as you accept it as fan fiction, it becomes Oh fuck you. It becomes, it's not fan fiction. It becomes decent. 
Not it's good, not but fan decent. fiction. Literally, some woman stuck her vagina in Palpatine's dick and had sex with him. Okay, I'm sure that's how sex works. Don't quote me on that. Okay, and oh and they God. had Ray. Like, wh what are we doing here? And she don't even have to train, and she all and she's like and she's like the best. All right, like holy shit, the movie was terrible. Disney, I want my money back. All right, I'm gonna get my money back. You think I'm not playing. You think I'm playing. I'm going to get my money back. I'll get you'll get your money back as soon as I get my money back from my CCFC. <gasps> Wait, well, that ain't going to happen. Shit. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to on you. If I ain't oh. get my money back, you ain't getting your money back. Ooh. Oof, indeed. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah. So, Furthermore. anyway. So, anyway. Um. Furthermore, is uh, two weeks from now. Well, actually, That's no. By only the time, one week. Yeah, by the time you hear this, it's probably be Where's one Where's the lamb sauce? Come on, man. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be in a brand new location this year. It's going to be at the Hyatt Regency Crystal City in Arlington, Virginia. And uh, I've actually toured the hotel. It is a massive hotel. Compared to the, uh, compared to the Sheraton last year, it's a f fuck huge hotel. It's a piece of shit. Wait, why do you say this? Have you it's... ever been there? Yes. No, you haven't. How do you? Because I know you didn't How come you... to Arlington. Do you watch me? Yes. On a daily basis. Maybe. Be gone, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, so Lifty's kind of like the neighborhood bicycle. Everybody's had a ride. Hey! <laughs> that is uh, not true! I mean... Oh my god. IBM, if anybody's the village bicycle in this podcast, it's you. Oof, I died. <laughs> Hey, fuck you. So anyway, uh, what other points do we need to talk about uh, regarding Furthermore? We're going to be talking about Furthermore um, in our 50th episode with our special guest. Uh, and it's, of I course, going to be live streamed. Oh, that's going to be difficult. Well, yeah, so we're going to get a camera. Right oh, hi. Thanks and... for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Sidelocks. So so anyway. I'm just over here laughing at all of this. <laughs> so this anyway, is with fucking that hilarious. Said, um, it is time, of course, to end the podcast. Thank you very much for joining us uh, this evening on another exciting episode of Furry Frequencies with Lifty. What are you fucking gay? <laughs> Silox. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and IVM. Thank you for joining us. Wonderful wonderful people for joining can i get a waffle <laughs> if you love what you hear please feel free to follow us on twitter at furry frequency and also if you're if you're listening to us on youtube feel free to like comment and subscribe to our videos and hit that bell for notifications on our newest episode uploads and uh, with that said it is time to go i so want to die so this is furry frequency dude i do off. too <laughs> Have Later. a great night. Oh, my Pornhub came up. Fuck. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, shit. Good night.